Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I had a question recently on a video that I posted regarding SPCC. And I thought the answer might help a few people, so I thought I'd make a little short video to go over it. What the question was, was that how did I get the Optolong L Pro red, green and blue filters to show up in this list because they aren't there by default. So what you do, you click on Curve Explorer and scroll down this list and you'll find the Optolong L Pro filter. Now that's all very well but the SPCC script is looking for individual red, green, and blue filters, whereas the L Pro lets in you know, all three colors at the same time, so you can't use it directly. But what you can do is extract the red, green, and blue sections and save those as separate filters. And the way you do that is to make use of the Optolong red, green, and blue filters in this list. If you click on the Optolong red, that shows just a band pass for a normal red filter. The same with the green and the blue. But if you click on the L Pro and hold down the control key and click on Optolong red, it will superimpose those two graphs. Now what you can do is click on this Combine Filters button down here. And what that essentially does is multiplies these two, two graphs together. So where they overlap, it extracts that and saves it as a new filter. So if you click on that, it will ask you to give the filter a new name. So we'll call it L Pro Red, And it's the red channel. OK. And you can see it's added this new filter to the list, and that's the the graph for it, which is just the red section extracted from the L Pro filter. So you do exactly the same for the green and blue. So you click on L Pro, Control, then click on Optolon Green, combine the filters, give it a name. It's the green channel. OK. And finally, once again, for the blue filter. Control click on blue. Combine them. Blue channel. And there you go. So they're now part of this list. So you click on OK. And it'll ask you to save these filters. So just say yes. And then you know, these three here of what, what I've created before, so they're um, in the list already. But if you go into this list now, you will see this new L Pro Red. Uh, likewise, you'll also find, uh, where is it? Yeah, L Pro Green. And then L Pro Blue. All very good. Now, those filters are now part of our list, but when PixInsight first starts up, the SPCC script loads up a default filters file. These new filters aren't part of that, so as soon as you restart PixInsight, you'll lose these. So what you want to do is click on Filter, uh, filter Management, uh, Export XML Filters, Choose somewhere to save them. We'll just do it here. Give the file a name. Then save. And that will export this list to this new file. Now what you can do when you restart PixInsight is either just come back into here and import these filters. Like so. Or if you want it, it just to load these by default when the PixInsight starts, just click on the, the spanner, 
You go to the same location, pick on your file. Okay, and that's it. So whenever it restarts, these filters will be in this list. So I hope you found that useful. Like I say, it took me a while to work this out because it's not at all intuitive. But uh, there we go, that's like a lot of things in Pixel Inside. So with that, I'll wish you clear skies and I'll see you again in the next one.